just came across this bastion remnant here. Let's take a look around and see what we've got. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe, of course, and hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And of course, also check out my channel for more Minecraft stuff. All right, this is a real mess, this particular bastion. I'm seeing a fair amount of gold in here. See, there's one piece, two piece, three, four pieces. Right down there, actually, I'm seeing a treasure chest. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. There appears to be a piglin hiding right behind that. Now, I'm playing this in creative, just so I don't get killed off instantly for this video. But if you're playing in survival, you want to make sure that you are dressed properly for the part. So I have my diamond armor on I have a gold helmet if you have some kind of gold on you then the piglins should leave you alone unless you try to get stuff out of one of those treasure chests and the way around that is to use a hopper and you simply put the hopper underneath I'll just come in here and do this put the hopper right here and then right click on the hopper the hopper then takes the stuff out of the chest and you can then pull that down right there into your inventory without having to open that chest up once you open the chest up, those piglins are going to attack, and all of them are going to attack you. Not just the one that sees you right here, but all the rest as well. They're going to come to the defense of that treasure chest. So make sure that you have some hoppers with you if you come in here and raid one of these bastion remnants. Let's take a more look around here. See, so we've got this thing's pretty tall. As you can see, it goes clear down to the bottom floor down there, but it is a big mess. Lots of open spots, lots of broken levels in here. And let's see what else we got hanging around here. Big mess down here. Now we're up pretty close to the top right now. And because this thing is so tall, there could be a lot of other stuff hiding inside of it. Obviously more piglins. And right down there I see a big hoard of gold right there. It's out on a bridge, obviously. Let's take a fast look at that. Now it looks like this might be someplace which is pretty easy to get to if we're able to build a defense around this. Maybe put some walls right in here. I always like to come in with stone bricks and some walls so I can build myself some defenses. And of course, come in with some arrows, a crossbow, and a bow. And I can use those as well just to defend myself. But this looks like it's pretty well out all by its own. So that might be some gold that's possible to get. Now, most of the time, I think it's easier to get your gold just out in the natural environment instead of raiding one of these things. These really are pretty horrendous to work your way through in survival mode. There's normally a lot more piglins in here than I'm seeing right now. And they're really very dangerous spots. There's a piglin right there. There's another one. And there's some more gold right down there. They will go for you if you go for that gold as well. Let's see what else you've got. We'll just go down here and take a look. Looks like we have another aisle in there, possibly. Maybe some more stuff further down here. So it's pretty tall, as you can see. And because of that, again... There could be a lot hiding inside this, but it's also just a big mess. Let's see what's inside here. Now you can take these lanterns and the chain. They won't be attacking you if you're taking those things. They're pretty safe to take. Okay, it's working our way through here, and there's some more of that nether gold ore right there. So there's a lot of that hiding around. So a fair amount of stuff in here that might be useful to get. And see what we have over in there. Now I'm in, again, creative, so I can just knock through the walls here pretty easily. So here's a bit of our crimson forest showing up over here. This might actually be a nice way to get in. Just use that as an entrance, pretty easy to defend, and then work your way up to that bridge up there and see if you can get that big gold hoard. Now the main thing you may want to dig through here and actually try to find inside of one of these bastion remnants is going to be that pig step disc. You can't find that any place else that's going to be in a treasure chest inside one of these bastion remnants. Gold you can get someplace else, a lot of spots to get gold and find that gold ore. That's pretty easy to get. You of course can get that chain, that's kind of nice, but it really isn't what's most exciting about this. It's that stuff that you'll find inside of those treasure chests. Like we had our gold here and gold nugget, iron. Nothing really exciting in there. Lodestone is kind of nice, but by and large, not really great stuff. But if I could find more of those treasure chests, there may be another chance in here to find that pig step disc. And that would be nice to have. That'd be fun to have. Okay, let's just go down this way and see what we got. 
more of those piglins hiding around in here. They seem to like this level. I'm not seeing any more treasure chests though. This one looks like it's pretty sparse as far as what's available in here to grab as far as loot goes. But there you go. Another Bastion Remnant. This one again is just a big mess. Lots of holes, lots of breaks in the walls. Not that many piglins running around, but not that much loot either. Hard to say if it's really worth it or not, but pretty neat, pretty interesting. This might be worth it if you want to clean it out of all those piglins and then convert this into your own fortress. There's an idea. Might be kind of fun to have as a base to work from. But again, it's going to be taking a lot of fighting. And keep in mind that these are piglins. Once you attack one, they're all going to be in attacking you. So there's going to be a lot of them coming at you. So again, like that's why I like to use these stone bricks and the walls and just build some defenses and then use a lot of arrows to try to protect yourself from those piglins. Okay, if you had fun with this video, make sure you hit that like button and share and subscribe. And check out my channel for more Minecraft videos.